He's a leader. He leads by example. He's the hardest, one of the hardest workers on the team as far as effort goes in practice and in workouts. I mean, he's just a, all around just a good guy. I mean, he's fun to be around, hang out with him, laugh with him, share stuff with him. I mean, just, we're like, we're like a family. David is a fun loving, a personable, uh, jovial type person. Loved and respected by his coaches and teammates, David Estolkis is a major part of this year's basketball team. He's known across the nation as one of the top three-point shooters and is quickly becoming one of the all-time best long-range shooting specialists in FSU history. A lot of time and dedication were put into perfecting his craft and his hard work didn't go unnoticed. After his freshman year, he, he worked all spring and summer on his hand position in the basketball and how he released the basketball with his shooting hand and his offhand and, and uh, improved his follow-through dramatically. So he, uh, he made some technique changes, but he really deserves the credit because he spent hours and hours and thousands of shots to, uh, to really uh, improve. When the other team sees that you have a good shooter on your team, they're going to have their guy closer to him, which creates a lot more space on the court um, for us to penetrate and, and get in the lane and try to score easy buckets. His offensive skills are impressive, but so too is his ability to play defense. And it's his ability to do both that makes Stolke as one of the best players in the ACC. He brings a lot to the table on the offensive end, but a lot of people really don't give him credit for his defense and um, the effort he brings on the defensive side of the ball. Uh, he's one of our best defenders. Anytime we're going up against anyone who's, who's very athletic, who can score the ball, coach usually puts him um, against him to guard him. One thing that doesn't go unrecognized is his effort, and Davidus is a guy you never have to worry about in the classroom because he works just as hard on his jump shot as he does on his GPA. He takes his, his basketball very seriously as well as his academics. He does a great job uh, in the classroom, uh, and he uh, is always working with his teammates and encouraging them. He's very positive and extremely competitive. But there's a story behind all of his great achievements at Florida State. Dolke's determination to become successful has always pushed him to work hard to reach his goals. It was my passion because I had a couple of basketball players, professional basketball players living with me. My, my parents rented the second, second floor of the house for them and I always hang out with them. I, always, I didn't miss a game. Well, actually I didn't miss three in six years counted it because it was very important for me but it was just something I wanted to do and I saw myself playing in the future and I keep reaching that goal. To fulfill his dreams he knew he would have to move to the United States to pursue a career in basketball. In Lithuania you could be a star basketball player but your grades would suffer and that was not good enough for Davidis. The transition was difficult at first but well worth it. Davidus had a number of schools recruiting him, but in the end, it came down to family. And to Davidus Dolkies, Florida State felt like a family. I think the biggest thing was the team. I loved the family in it, and, and we all stuck together when I came to visit. They all were nice and not separated. We all lived together. We stayed as a team. And I think when I came here, it was still the same way. Without the love and support of his coaches, fans, and teammates, Davidus wouldn't be where he is today. His performance and ambition resembles former FSU basketball player Bob Sura. He was the number one all-time leading scorer and had a very successful career in the NBA. Coaches and teammates believe Davidus is on the right path to follow Sura's footsteps. Davidus is eager to learn. He's kind of like a sponge. He's always asking questions. He's in, uh, in the office trying to get films and tapes of practices. And, in games so that he can go out and become the best basketball player he can become. He's a very coachable youngster and he's been very pleasant to work with. I'm Crystal Miner for Seminole Sports Magazine.